Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Thirsty Thursday and it is bargain beer review time but before we get cracking on the beer I'm going to dedicate this episode to one of my describe, subscribers, Night Law 10 I'll put a link down below to his channel um, It's got some massive hits on some of his videos, mainly to do with like motorbike maintenance etc So go check him out if you're into your biking because he very very kindly sent me a wine mail for Christmas so I've got a nice bottle of Avios that's a, a white which is a Procorno Colina Prescali and also a red as well that's a uh, Le uh, Pincanche um, Montepulcio de Ginambazolo. So, anyway, thank you very much, Night Lawton. Very kind of you. Up on today's beer review, we have from our friends at Tutcha, um, established in 1672, it's their Nurnberger Pills. Um, this sent me back 99 English pence from bargain chain of shops, convenience stores called B and M. So it's a nice Pilsner, of course Bill, uh, brewed under the Pilsner laws in Germany. Quite a funky cap on that as well. So let's get this popped and poured into a glass. Got a bit of a makeshift bo bottle opener. Ooh. A little bit of can of smoke, not a great deal. Been in the fridge overnight. Came out about 15 minutes ago, so I've got a nice Warsteiner Pilsner glass that was liberated on a trip to Germany many moons ago. Right, this pours a beautiful straw colour, um, nice thick two finger head of very very tight bubbles, Yeah, nice light straw, great carbonation, let's go for a sniff. Bit of malts, bit like fur. Uh, get the sweetness off it uh, as well. Nothing really off the hops. Um, I think um, let's go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Very light. Good thirst. <laughs> Thirst quench on that as well. Um, very light, clean, and crisp, which is a favourite saying of various reviewers around the globe on the, on YouTube. Um, head still sticking around, carbonation still as well. Good bit of lacing. Not overly hoppy, but you do pick up the hops in the aftertaste. That is. Uh, it's one of the nobles, could be Sars, Tetnanga, um, Hawa, Hawa Toa, not overly sure as always on these beers. They never quite tell you exactly what's in there, but definitely one of the noble hops. Um, quite funky artwork to be honest, isn't it? I'll give, um, you know, in, in the UK we can certainly learn a lot from our European neighbours and in particular as well our, our friends in North America when it comes to the labels that we put on some of our beers because um, some of our artwork leaves, leaves a lot to be desired. Right, um, so 99 pence B&M, would I buy it again? I think I would actually, I um, might not necessarily buy a crate of 24 but I think I might buy a couple to pop in the back of the fridge for a you know a warm day as I need a bit of a thirst quencher. Uh, That's quite nice actually. Don't get me wrong, as a pills, um, you know, I, I don't think it's necessarily going to win a, an Olympic gold medal, but um, it's pushing for a place on the podium. That, that's that's pretty good actually for a bargain beer. 99p, 30 30 score, that's a very, very solid 7 out of 10 for me. If you see one, let's say B&M, 99p, Tutcha, Nurnberger pills. If you see one, Go and pick it up. Actually, as it's cooling down at one, what, one degree or two degrees, less sensory review. A bit more hot profile coming through. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon for another bargain beer review right here on Thirsty Thursday. As always, thanks for watching. Be seeing you.